What's happening, guys? I'm Dan. And I'm Danny. And we're back with another <laughs> seltzer review, guys. We lied again. This was something I did not see coming into distribution last week. It's brand new to Michigan. It's going to be Sonic Hard Seltzer. Yes, Sonic, guys. The restaurant. What in the world are we dealing with? Dan dropped it in the last video because I was like, oh, another new seltzer. Keep a lookout. We're going to drop one. And he goes, Sonic. So he ruined it then, but... It doesn't <laughs> matter. What we have today, guys, is a fast food chain dropping hard seltzers, which is mind-boggling. They probably saw that this was a profitable avenue to go into, like mm -hmm. everyone else in the world. So here we are. It's Dan and Danny. More seltzers to give you the latest and greatest. So this is coming in around $18.99 for a 12-pack. Uh, again, new distribution for Michigan. I think these were made available sometime last year for the United States. I just don't know what states particularly. Mm -hmm. um, but we have a standard set of calories that's very common for seltzers. So break it down for them. Tell them what we're getting for macros here. Okay, so we got 100 calories, mm -hmm. um, one gram of carb, one gram of added sugar. So this is like basically a white claw. This and is this is five percent. This is white claw standards. Uh, I don't think that these are actually stevia, which is good. I don't see anything in the uh, nutritional facts or ingredients. So yeah, carbonated water, alcohol, yep, sugar, citric acid. It's it's it's, it's normal. It's normal. So produced for Coop Ale Works, Oklahoma City. So that's who. Who's in collaboration with doing this? Uh, give them the flavors. Okay. This is the tropical variety pack, so maybe they're gonna come out with. I think one. there's another one. Oh, I there do already th is. I think there's a citrus one, but I don't okay. don't quote me. I saw it somewhere online. Well, well, this is tropical. Tropical. And so we have a mango, guava. Good deal. Ocean water. Interesting. But there's coconuts on the can. Okay. Uh, orange pineapple and melon medley with. Um, honeydew and watermelon. Start okay. there. We're starting there. Eat. I made the call because uh, let's get that out of the way. Melon. Medley. So here we go, guys. It's another seltzer Sunday. I'm bringing the heat because I had a long week, and so has Danny. But I'm bringing the review for you. Commitment to the game. We actually got this in on Wednesday last week. Yep. So I was gone though. I was traveling. Dan downstairs. just got back, and so here we are. What better thing to do than oh review some seltzers? Clear. Mild, almost no carbonation, actually. It, like, was bubbly, and then it just, like... I don't know if I'm digging really? the smell. I don't know if I'm digging it. it smells weird. It's kind of, like, it smells... limey. But it's watermelon it's... and um, honeydew. I don't know. I like, get something my, else. my friends say muskmelon. I don't know if that's, like, a universal. I want to say there's, like, something tangy and artificial in there for just a moment, hmm. but it goes away. I don't know. I'm not quite Let's sure. Not sold it. on it completely yet. Oh, that's watermelon. Ooh. No? Oh, the aftertaste is horrible. Really? Maybe that's the tangy thing I'm getting. I don't enjoy that at all. I don't get as bad of an aftertaste as you. Really? No. Ugh. What does it taste like? Is it like a like a gassy like No, like like, like alcohol? No. No, because Well I yes, I, I think this, like in comparison to other seltzers. I do get more alcohol taste on it, but it's like this, Maybe like, a mm, I mean, it's probably the honeydew. It's, a, it's, it's a like tangy a, thing. no, I'm getting like a musky, like must. A musky musk melon? <laughs> <A> mu <laughs> no, it's like a must, like, I don't know. Yeah, like almost steel. like a damp old, yeah. like clothes, laundry from like grand grandpa's basement. Like mm. I could see where you're going. I re I'm not, I'm not like disliking it. it as much as you. I don't know why you're getting that, but everybody's taste buds are different. I don't um, get very much. I mean, the watermelon's kind of like, a, like the rind maybe. Watermelon's big up front for me and then it kind of dissipates and goes away. Um, I yeah, poured that one back in the can. Like that's, that. that's fair. Mango guava. I feel like I'm going to like this one. It smells good. That smells good. Very fruity. It is. But this it's one, a, again, it like, 50 /50. was really bubbly, then went... Goes shh, away. Go. Mango guava, 50-50 to me. I get both. Mm. See, these are light. They have they have big flavor up front really quickly, and then it goes away. Like, boom, gone. Like, it's it's a it's a seltzer, absolutely, the way it finishes. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not a... Um, 
artificial flavor back on like with stevia or aspartame. I don't get any of that. So there is a weird like twangy tanginess that I keep getting on a lot of these yeah. seltzers, and I don't know what it is in the brewing process that brings it or distilling process, whatever. Uh, but this one's good. I think it's crushable. Yeah, I like that one. Nice combo of flavors. I'd say it's an even 50-50 split guava mm -hmm. mango, so let's move on. Orange pineapple. Oh man, I might like this one. Let's see if Sonic is good at making seltzers, even though it's not Sonic. They just put their name on it. Branding. Marketing. Guess, do people, are they going to like look at these and go, yes, Sonic? Maybe. maybe. I've never been to a Sonic, oh, man. so. Sonic's pretty good. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is Sonic good? I think so. Ooh, this is like faint though. It's like more rind. It's more skin of like a navel orange, uh, light pineapple, pineapple aroma. Yeah, light to me. I'm just that's my perspective. You know, I don't know. It smells good to me. It smells good. Good finish again. These are finishing pretty dry, which I, I dig. This. This is. These are closer to White Claws than any other seltzer as of late. Like the the way that they're finishing are closer to White Claw. Um, dryness, because the, the mm. process of making this is the same as White Claw. Yeah, I think the pineapple's not, like, too overpowering. Uh -uh, uh -uh. I'd say the orange, to me, is more dominating a little bit. Mm, that one drinks good. It, it is. It's just a very nice, even flow of flavors all the way through. Mm -hmm. um, again, pretty dry, but both flavor on the front and the middle. Not too um, sugary. Like, there's <laughs> no, like, big, like, sugar feel after. Yeah. No, I mean, again, I think we're really sensitive. We complain a lot about the aspartame and, yeah. you know, stevia stuff. We're not getting any of that today. Ocean water coconut. with coconuts on it. Okay. So I think it's just like going to be like tropical coconut. coconut. No, I just think coconut. Tropical coconut. But I think they would, uh, yeah, if there was, I don't know. Yeah, man, it's suntan just, lotion. Really? Suntan lotion. Oh. It is. It's a very artificial smelling coconut. But it's like a... Tangy. It's a, I'm getting weird tanginess. I'm like. It's like a sprite suntan yeah, lotion. Yeah, it's like sprite and suntan like, lotion combined together with a little bit of butteriness. I don't know. It's like is. a creamy. Yeah. Taste yeah, that's, smell. it's weird. I don't know. I'm just giving you things that are popping in my head. I don't think I'm going to like this. I don't know. I mean, it's this is a toss up because this can be. This can go south really quick. What is that? There's it's like some kind, there's some kind, there's some kind of like citrus or like, um, is it is it like papaya or is it like some mm -hmm. kind of no? I don't think so. Peachy papaya in here. What okay, I will say it tastes a lot better than it smells. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think the coconut's like crazy on the taste. The there, smell is really off. -putting. There's something else in here, and it's like it's. I almost want to say it's like stone fruit and like lime. Like to me, stone fruit and lime. It does have a twang of like a lime. And then like this nice even flow of coconut. Like these, these, the one thing I say is drinkability is pretty high in these. Like they have nice flows, inflow and outflow of flavors. Yeah, the, the taste is better than the aroma. It's not bad. I mean, this, this, this is not bad at all. Hmm. Different. I don't know if it's my jam, no. but it's different and I will remember that one. Like that, yeah. that's something I don't see in normal packs. For sure. So, I don't know if you're going to rank them. I mean, I, these are pretty I good. Easy. Pretty good. Easy peasy. Orange pineapple first. I think you're right. Mango guava, close second. Ocean coconut water, third. And dead last, melon medley. I'm going to try that one more time. See what was really going on here. I don't know. I, I will say, though, I'm not a big, usual, usually a big watermelon fan. See, I, these are growing up. Watermelon has grown on me lately. I don't get the, the weird aftertaste that you're getting. I'm trying to find it. Like, it's not, if there was one that finished the worst, I'd say it was yeah. this one. Um, just because the flavors kind of get lost and muddled. And then there's a, a little mm -hmm. strangeness on the back end that I, it's like a musty tanginess. Mm -hmm. um, that would just be the one that I would leave at the bottom of the pack. For some reason, I like this more than than I I, I don't different. I don't want to like it, but I do like it kind mm -hmm. of. It's different. I mean, like you you usually mm -hmm. get your mango, orange, pineapple seltzers. That's what you usually get. This could be interchangeable for me, but I think that uh, the melon medley has the worst finish out of all of them. 
It's debatable. Anyways, I think I'm going to leave Danny's lineup because I believe in this and I think you're correct. Um, guys, it's been the Sonic Hard Seltzer Tropical Pack. It's another seltzer review in the books and you know what it is, guys. I'm Dan. And I'm Danny. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. See ya.